the emperor descends, and the feather forest hangs its head. This is a passionate story that takes place on the eve of Empress Wu Zetian's accession to the throne, where she angrily rebukes her courtiers in the court. Will characters like Empress Wu Zetian, Shang Wan Waner, and Princess Taiping, who stand at the forefront of controversy, once again embark on a life full of controversy? The official title of this book is The Secret History of Empress Wu Zetian, Keywords of the Novel. Tang Dynasty 7th Rank Official Residence, No Pop. Up Window Received at the Beginning of the Game, Tang Dynasty. 7th Rank Official Residence, Received at the Beginning of the Game, Received at the Beginning of the Game, Received at the Beginning of the Game. Complete Collection Download. Tang Dynasty. 7th Rank Official Residence, Received at the Beginning of the Game, Received at the Beginning of the Game. Latest Chapter Reading. Chapter 1. Hong Men Banquet. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Hong Men Banquet In the summer of the fourth year of Zhuegong, a white jade divine stone appeared on the bank of the Luo Shui River, engraved with the eight characters, Our Lady is here, and we will continue our imperial career in Yongchang. Upon receiving this news, Wu Zetian personally led the civil and military officials of the Manchu dynasty to the Luaha River to participate in the Bai Luo painting ceremony. In June of the same year, Empress Dowager Wu Zetian issued an edict to place the emperor under house arrest in the palace, and he was not allowed to enter or leave the palace without permission. The news spread, and the members of the Li Tang family were in danger, secretly running and contacting with the intention of forming an anti-military alliance to support the prosperity of Tang Shizong. At this moment, in the official office of Wushui County, Van Exian was sitting at a desk, frowning as he looked at the envelope in his hand, with a neat line of font written on the paper. The magistrate of Wushui County personally initiated and signed the contract, with Li Chong, the governor of Buzhou. I didn't expect this moment to come. Fan Xian sighed as he picked up the letter and walked to the window to look outside. The steward sent by the Langya king in the courtyard was still waiting for news. Surrounded by onlookers, their expression seemed to envy his relationship with the Langya king. However, what no one knows is that his heart at this moment is like being roasted in a fire, suffering greatly. At a young age, he was the seventh rank county magistrate of Wushui County, and was also heavily valued by the Langya king Li Chongqi. It should be said that a time traveler like Fan Xian could start off well. But he knew that this trip to the governor's mansion was not a banquet, but rather a day when Li Chong summoned the princes of Li Tang to discuss the uprising against Wu, and at the same time, he carried out a great purge of the officials who were loyal to Wu Zetian. Because most of the people who served as governors in various states at that time were Li Tang Zongqin, after removing Wu Zetian's followers, they were fully equipped to recruit soldiers. Combined with a detailed uprising plan, it is inevitable that Luoyang will be surrounded on all sides, and then Wu Zetian will be successfully eliminated. Unfortunately, not everyone is determined to resist the court at this anti-military alliance conference. According to historical records, as soon as the conference ended, someone secretly reported the rebellion of King Yu and his son to Empress Wu Zetian. In anger, the court dispatched 300,000 troops to besiege and suppress them. Upon learning of the news leak, Li Chong hastily rose up in Buzhou and dispatched scouts to report to various Li Tang forces, hoping that they would rise up in response. However, except for King of Yu Li Zhen, no one responded. Due to helplessness, Li Chong had no choice but to lead 5,000 new soldiers alone to attack Wushui County, attempting to cross the Yellow River. His troops aimed straight at Luoyang, creating a good situation for the anti-military cause. However, his morale was scattered and he was defeated for seven days without even being able to withstand it. As for his father Li Zhen, as well as the Li Tang royal family who discussed big plans, they all ended tragically. If he accepts the invitation at this time and goes to the governor's office for an appointment, if Li Chang's father and son's uprising fails in the future, then, by the means of the court, he will definitely be regarded as an accomplice and executed. So he can never accept this invitation. But not going is not enough. Li Chong is not only the prince of Litong County, 
but also the governor of Buizhou. If he offends him, there is no need to wait for the court to punish him, and the other party can kill him. Just as Fan Exian was thinking about how to get through this crisis, a long follower dressed in grey pushed open the door and walked in. Upon seeing this person enter, Fan Exian casually said, Didn't I ask you to accompany the guests outside? Why did you come in? Upon hearing this, Chang Sui bowed and bowed, saying, Hui Ming Mansion, the governor of the governor's mansion has asked someone to come in and ask you. Have you considered it carefully? Upon hearing these words, Fan Exian let out a deep sigh in his heart. It seemed that if he didn't give the other party a response, they wouldn't stop. Long Sui saw Fan Exian with a worried expression and scratched his head in confusion, saying, Ming Mansion, I don't understand. The king of Langya is a royal relative and also the governor of Buizhou. I don't know how many people like him want to flatter, but they have no way to appeal. Now that you personally come to invite us, it can be said that you have given us face in Wushue County. What do you think of your anxious and uneasy appearance? Fan Exian naturally wouldn't tell Chang Sui that this trip to the governor's mansion was actually a grand feast, and whether or not he surrendered, it would be a dead end. Furthermore, when he first arrived, he was not very familiar with the people in the county government office, so it cannot be guaranteed that there were no spies of the Langya king inside. Therefore, he spoke up and said, it's nothing. This time, the king of Langya has invited some royal relatives and high dot ranking officials from the imperial court. I'm afraid I won't be able to make a name for myself. So it's like this. I thought you had some concerns, Chan Sui breathed a sigh of relief and said with a smile, Ming Mansion is too worried. Who knows in the whole Buzhou that the king of Langya values you the most. I heard that you like gold, silver, and jewelry. Without hesitation, the king of Langya sent someone to send two precious pearls. Who can compare this importance to? Looking at Chang Sui's proud expression, Fan Xian shook his head. The king of Langya didn't value himself, he just wanted to pave the way for the uprising. Buizhou is located in the northern part of the river. If you want to raise an army from here, you must first capture Wushue County, and then cross the Yellow River all the way south. Only in this way can you have a chance to reach Luoyang. To put it bluntly, Li Chong did not value him, but rather the Wushue County under his feet. Fan Exian believed that if he dared to refuse attachment, the former would kill him on the spot and replace him with an obedient person to become the county magistrate. Putting aside his thoughts, Fan Exian spoke to Chang Sui and said, Go and bring in the governor's office. I will inquire about the arrangements for the banquet. Ming Mansion, wait a moment. I'll go and invite the steward of the Wang Mansion. Chang Sui bowed and walked out. Not long after, the door was pushed open by someone, and the governor of the governor's office walked into the study under the guidance of Chang Sui. When his footsteps stopped, he respectfully arched his hand. Little Prince's Mansion Steward Li Quan, have you seen Ming Mansion? Steward Li, there's no need to be polite. Please take a seat. Xie Ming Mansion. After sitting down, Manager Li spoke up and said, County Magistrate Fan, my lord has invited many officials to attend this banquet. How have you considered it? He couldn't figure it out. His own prince valued Fan Xian so much. How could this guy hesitate for so long? Shouldn't he go immediately? Sensing the suspicion in Manager Li's expression, Fan Xian smiled and said, There's nothing to say about this matter. I'm highly valued by the prince and I'm honored to be invited to visit the governor's office from now on. Please wait for me to change my clothes and let's go to the governor's office together. After much thought, he ultimately felt the need to take a risk and go to the governor's mansion to find a safe way out of danger. In terms of military strategy, this is called putting oneself to the brink of death and rebirth. Steward Lee saw that Fan Xian's attitude did not seem to be fraudulent and his face finally softened a bit. Since you are such a villain, wait outside the door for Fan County Magistrate for a while. Let's take a car together to the governor's mansion. That's good. 
Fan Exian nodded and got up, walked out of the study, went to the residence and changed into a white robe. Seeing no one paying attention, he quickly wrote a note and held it in his hand. Arriving at the entrance of the county government office, Fan Exian found the governor's guard waiting for him. He patted the servant's shoulder. Liozi, when I go to the governor's mansion this time, you don't need to follow me. Take someone to clean up the barren grass and forest outside the city later, otherwise it may cause a fire when it gets hot in a few days. Don't worry, the sixth son will definitely handle the matter. The servant hid the note in his sleeve and said calmly. So I feel at ease, said Fan Exian as his gaze swept over everyone. He turned around and got into the carriage to follow the guards towards the governor's mansion. End of this chapter Chapter 2 King's Mansion Assassinated You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 King's Mansion Assassinated Liozi, have you offended the Mingfu? You are also required to do the work of chopping trees and cutting grass, said Changshir with a smile as he walked up. The servant withdrew his gaze and glanced at him, saying, This is my business, you don't need to worry. He then strode into the county government office. Humph, what kind of aura? The long attendant looked at the distant carriage and took out a small booklet from his arms, writing on it. On the first day of August, the magistrate of Wushui County went to the governor's office to participate in a secret gathering of Li Tang's relatives. The gentle breeze blew, and the plum blossom tattoo on his arm was faintly visible. The residence of the governor's office is in Liaocheng, more than 50 miles away from Wushui County. Although the distance is not far, the official roads have been rugged since ancient times, and by the time the carriage enters the city gate, the sun has already set. Fan Exian sat in the carriage, watching the constantly receding street market with furrowed brows. He had just calculated that in less than a stick of incense, at least six waves of patrolling soldiers had passed through the street. Buizhou is located on a flat riverbank, with good public security throughout the area. There are few horse bandits and thieves, so there is no need for so many soldiers to patrol. Looking back on the previous heavy army guarding the city gate, allowing only one scene in and out, Fan Exian vaguely felt that Li Chong was going to carry out a thorough purge of the officials in Buizhou. At that time, any official who supported Wu Zetian would probably find it difficult to escape the fate of being dismembered on the spot. And to survive, one can only submit to his command. It seems that we should leave Liaoqing as soon as possible and return to Wushui County before everyone arrives. I don't know if my method of putting people to death and surviving will work, Fan Exian thought to himself. Steward Li glanced at him and said with a smile on his face, Why, it seems that County Magistrate Fan is a bit uneasy. Are you afraid that the prince will be detrimental to you? Fan Exian's heart trembled, and he quickly shook his head and said, Steward Li is joking. Since I entered office, I have not seen any royal relatives except for the prince. The thought of standing with those big shots inevitably made me feel a little anxious. At the end of the day, he is just a seventh grade county magistrate, and this statement perfectly matches his identity and will not arouse anyone's suspicion. Sure enough, upon hearing him say so, Manager Lee's doubts receded in his eyes and he smiled a little more. Don't be nervous, Fan County Magistrate. The guests who came this time are all Li Tang Zongqin. As long as you stand with the prince, no one will do anything to you. As for martial law, it will naturally be lifted after the banquet. At that time, those who should go home and those who should go on the road will not delay your efforts. Fan Exian breathed a heavy sigh of relief as if he hadn't heard the outer chord of his words. It's okay. I'm really afraid that I might lose my life if I don't say something right, he said as he spoke, the carriage slowly stopped in front of a mansion. The door curtain was lifted, and two servants brought a wooden stool to cushion it in front of the carriage shaft, standing respectfully on both sides. County Magistrate Fan, the prince is already waiting. Let's get off the car. Okay. Fan Exian nodded and walked out of the carriage first. As soon as he got out, 
he saw the plaque engraved with the four big characters of Langya Prince's mansion. Is this the Langya Prince's mansion? Lee, the steward, saw Fan Xian's surprised expression and said, the prince personally explained that if the magistrate of Fan County comes, there is no need to stay in the governor's mansion and wait. You can go directly to the Langya Prince's mansion to meet him. How could I dare to trouble the prince for such kindness, lower official Hida? Fan Exian bowed his hand gratefully. Manager Lee smiled and led Fan Exian through the side door into the royal mansion. After turning around a few corridors, they soon arrived at the courtyard. County Magistrate Fan, please wait here for a moment before the villain goes in and reports. Excuse me, Manager Lee. Fan Exian nodded and was about to find a place to rest when he saw the study door pushed open. Li Chong, dressed in purple and gold, accompanied a middle dot aged man out. Seeing this person's elegant demeanor and extraordinary attire, he immediately guessed that the other person should be a Prince Li Tang, but he didn't know which prince it was. And Fan Exian's sudden appearance also startled Li Chong in the middle. Aged man. Just now, the two of them talked a lot about attacking Luoyang in the study. If this were to be leaked, wouldn't it be like everyone would be beheaded? Li Chong was fine. After seeing that the person outside the door was Fan Exian, he breathed a little sigh of relief, while the middle dot aged man's face changed slightly, and a hint of coldness flashed in his eyes. The uprising and counter military action involved the lives of tens of thousands of people. In order to nip the hidden danger in the bud, he immediately drew his sword from his waist and stabbed Fan Exian's throat. This scene happened between lightning and flint, and by the time everyone present reacted, it was already too late. Fortunately, Fan Exian was already on guard. When he saw the middle dot aged man killing him, he flipped his short sword over his wrist and appeared in his hand. When the sword pointed towards him, he stood in front of him. Dang! The two swords collided, emitting a piercing sound of iron swords. The middle dot aged man's face darkened as he was about to continue thrusting towards Fan Exian when Li Chong, who had regained his senses, took a step forward and spoke up. Uncle Wang, there's no need to be nervous. Fan Exian is the guest I invited and he won't reveal our conversation. You go back and rest first. If there's anything else, we'll wait for everyone to arrive before we discuss it. The middle dot aged man is a cunning and calculating person. Upon hearing Li Chang's words, he immediately understood his meaning. After inserting the sword back into its sheath, he nodded and said, Okay, let's wait for everyone to arrive before we talk. After taking a deep look at Fan Exian, he strode away. When the middle dot aged man left, Li Chong turned to the steward and said, It's rare for the magistrate of Fan County to come. Go and tidy up his room. Speaking, he looked at Fan Exian and said, This is not the place for conversation. Let's go into the study and chat, please. Fan Exian took a deep breath and walked straight into the study. When the door closed, he bowed to Li Chong and said, I have seen the king of Langya. Li Chong waved his hand and said, you are a member of this king. Let's meet as brothers privately. Let's sit down. After sitting down, Fan Exian pondered and said, Prince, who exactly was the Li Tang relative just now? Why did he kill his subordinates as soon as we met? He is the uncle of this king, Li Ai, also known as the king of Fanyang. So he is the king of Fanyang, no wonder he exudes a refined aura, Fan Exian said thoughtfully. If he remembers correctly, the reason why the anti-military alliance conference failed was because Li Ai, the king of Fanyang, secretly leaked the information to Wu Zetian, which led to a siege of 300,000 troops. He didn't expect to meet him here. Yes, Uncle Wang likes to read books and is kind. If it weren't for my persistent invitation, he wouldn't have come to the banquet this time. I don't know what happened just now, but suddenly we started arguing. In a bad mood, we drew our swords at you. I hope you don't mind, Li Chong said with a guilty expression on his face. Fan Exian sneered in his heart. 
he was just afraid that I might reveal the secret of your uprising against the military. Of course, he could only keep these words hidden in his heart. Once he said them, he would definitely die, so he shook his head and said. I'm just puzzled, I didn't blame the prince. That's good. Li Chong smiled and the conversation changed. By the way, a few days ago the court allocated 200,000 yuan in grain to Buzhou, and I plan to use this money for you in Wushui County. Go back and write a record, detailing the number of officials, city defenses, various checkpoints, and grain reserves, and hand it over to me. I will then distribute money and grain to you in Wushui County. Fan Xian's heart trembled coldly. This was not just distributing money and food, but clearly preparing to kill himself and attack Wushui County. At this thought, he immediately put on a grateful expression. Thank you very much for the prince's care. With this money and food, we can finally live a good life in Wushui County. Li Chong smiled slightly and said, All right, you've taken the carriage all the way. Let's go back and rest early. I'll call you again for the dinner the day after tomorrow. Then he picked up his teacup and took a sip. Upon seeing this, Fan Xian stood up and bowed, leaving the study to follow the servant to the guest room. Looking at his distant figure, Li Chang's smile gradually disappeared from his face and he said coldly, So, is there anything unusual about this Fan Xian? End of this chapter Chapter 3 Cruel Truth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Cruel Truth The door leaf was pushed open, and Li Quan walked into the study. He bowed and said, returning to the prince, I have been observing Fan Xian all the way and have not found any abnormalities, just. Just what? What surprised me was that after the invitation letter was delivered, Fan Xian stayed alone in the study for a long time, seeming somewhat uneasy. Anxious. Li Chong furrowed his brow tightly and said, I treat Fan Xian well and specially invite him to the dinner party. What's bothering him? Did he notice our intention? As soon as this idea arose, it was denied by Li Chong. Out of caution, he rebelled against the military and only a few princes surnamed Li and Princess Changle knew about it. He did not inform any local officials. Fan Xian is just a small county magistrate. He couldn't have inquired about such a confidential matter, there must be other reasons. I don't think so. The villain once asked Fan Xian, and he said he had never seen a big shot except for you, so he felt a little scared in his heart. So it's like this, no wonder. Li Chong waved his hand with some amusement, forget it, as long as there are no abnormalities. Li Quan asked, Prince, should we still monitor Fan Xian? What he didn't expect was that Li Chong was extremely cautious. Of course, no one can escape our sight during special times. Especially in Wushui County, which is the first checkpoint for us to march south to Luoyang, there must be no chance of any mishap. So, send someone to test Fan Xian and see if he has any problems. If there are no problems, we'll deal with it later at the dinner party. If there's any problem. Li Chong said coldly with his eyes narrowed slightly, burn his body and wipe it out directly, defeat his bones and ashes, and replace him with an obedient county magistrate. Sen Leng's killing intent made Li Quan shudder, and he quickly went down to arrange manpower to preliminarily test Fan Xian. Late at night, in the wing room. After seeing off the servant, Fan Xian closed the door and took out a small piece of yellow medicine skin from his sleeve. He hesitated a little and swallowed it in his stomach. Nowadays, Liaoching is heavily guarded, and it is impossible to leave this place by conventional means. We can only face death and rebirth. There was still some time before the onset of the drug effect, and Fan Xian sat at the table as requested, writing down the situation in Wushui County. Li Chong spent several years in Buzhou and knew the situation in each county very well. He couldn't hide things like the number of officials and the size of the city from him. It was better to write about them truthfully than to be discovered later. The only thing he can tamper with is food and weapons, which are related to how many days he can defend the city, 
and are the things he needs to establish himself. When Fan Exian finished writing the record, it was already midnight. After checking the content and finding no problems, he took a breath and walked towards the bed. Halfway through, his face suddenly changed and he ran towards the thatched cottage, clutching his stomach. The effect of the medicine was even faster than he had imagined. As the long night passed, Fan Exian woke up early to wash himself up and brought his belongings to the royal council hall. When Li Chong saw his face turn pale, he was momentarily stunned and said, County Magistrate Fan, are you not sleeping well? Why is your face so bad? It's okay, I suddenly changed places and felt a bit uncomfortable. This is the detailed situation of Wushue County that the prince wants. Please take a look. Fan Exian took out a record and handed it over. Li Chong took the record from Fan Exian's hand, glanced at the content on it, and nodded satisfied, saying, not bad, truly worthy of the talent that I value. I even wrote it on the equipment of the county government. The prince is highly praised. If there is nothing else, I would like to go out for a walk and buy some food for my dog to eat. Normally, all officials who enter the royal palace are not allowed to leave here without expressing their stance. But Fan Exian's truthful account of the situation in Wushue County reduced Li Chang's suspicion, so he readily agreed. Anyway, why don't you go out for a walk? When you go back, buy your son two smoked chickens, which means it's a good way to play. Thank you for your advice, I will retire first. Fan Exian arched his hand and turned to walk outside the Wang mansion, looking at his back as if he was very weak. Prince, would there be an accident if you were to leave the palace? Li Quan worried beside him. Li Chong opened the scroll and looked at the content above. What are you afraid of? Liao Qing has been blocked by our king's heavy army, and even if he inserts his wings, he cannot fly out. You go to the restroom and see if Fan Exian has had diarrhea all night as he said. At critical moments, we must act with caution. Li Quan went to the toilet with a bitter face and returned, saying, Prince, Fan Exian didn't lie. He did have diarrhea all night. This guy's body is too weak, it turned out like this just one day. Li Chong shook his head and forgot about it after coming out of the royal mansion, Fan Exian breathed a sigh of relief. He was completely refreshed and knew that the king of Langya would definitely send someone to monitor him. Therefore, he did not go to other places, but bought a smoked chicken and went straight back to the royal mansion. Today, there were many guests coming to the royal mansion, standing in the garden in twos and threes, chatting happily. Seeing him walking over, one of the men wearing a round neck dark green robe walked over with a smile. You are the magistrate of Wushue County, Brother Fan Exian, right? Are you? Fan Exian frowned slightly, as if he didn't recognize this person in his impression. I, Zhao Kun, the magistrate of Gautang County, and you are both successful candidates in the EO examination. When I participated in the Ministry of Personnel examination, I sat behind you, the man said with a smile. So it's Brother Zhao, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you, Fan Exian suddenly realized and arched his hand. It seems that there was indeed a person named Zhao Kun during the imperial examination, but after too long, he forgot what the other person looked like. It's okay, we haven't seen each other for years, so it's normal not to recognize each other. Zhao Kun smiled slightly and was taken aback when he saw Fan Exian holding a smoked chicken in his hand. Brother Fan, did you go out and buy this smoked chicken yourself? His tone was full of surprise. Yeah, I'm going to take it back to give the dog a try. What's wrong, Brother Zhao? Is there any problem? Fan Exian looked puzzled as he saw Zhao Kun's expression change. Zhao Kun glanced around and realized that no one was paying attention before lowering his voice and saying, Brother Fan, this is not the place to talk. Let's talk inside. Okay, Brother Zhao, please come in. Fan Exian reached out to this person and made a gesture of invitation. After entering the room, Fan Exian casually closed the door and asked, Brother Zhao, 
what did you mean by what you said earlier? Is there a problem with the smoked chicken? Zhao Kun shook his head and said, there's no problem with the smoked chicken, it's a problem with the Langya Prince's mansion. Langya Prince's mansion. Fan Exian's heart moved and he said in surprise. Not bad. Zhao Kun walked to the window and looked out with a serious expression. I wanted to go out for a walk just now, but I was stopped by the guards of the Wang Mansion. They said that no one can leave the Wang Mansion half a step before the dinner is over. Fan Exian said indifferently, Brother Zhao, did you think too much? Perhaps the royal family is afraid that we will encounter danger, so they won't let us go out. Are you afraid we'll be in danger? Zhao Kun snorted coldly. Brother Fan, have you ever seen a royal mansion inviting guests to secretly ambush a large number of soldiers? What's holding a banquet? It's clearly about killing us and other officials of the Tang dynasty and rebelling against the court. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Escape Quickly You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 5 Lucky Pass You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 6 Reporting Funeral You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Reporting Funeral the effect of the yellow medicine skin was even more intense than expected, and it didn't even take half an hour. Fan Xian's abdomen was unbearable pain, so he had to cover his stomach and run to the toilet. Overnight, he tossed and turned more than ten times, and by the time he woke up, it was already the afternoon of the next day. Looking at himself in the bronze mirror with a haggard face and bloodshot eyes, Fan Xian nodded with satisfaction. Although he had suffered a bit, fortunately his goal had been achieved. He believed that no matter who saw him, they would think he was critically ill and his life was not long. Fan Exian rested in the room for a while, got up, and went to the garden. As there was still an hour before the banquet, there were many guests standing in the garden, chatting in groups of three. Looking at the smile on his face, it was obvious that he didn't know his death was coming soon. Seeing Fan Exian walking over, officials from various places along the way covered their noses and retreated to the side, looking at him with disdain in their eyes. Fan Exian didn't mind either. He casually found a stone pier to sit down on, and after just a few steps, he was sweating profusely and spinning around. At this moment, a man wearing a dark green official uniform walked forward and took out a piece of silk cloth from his sleeve, saying, Brother, I see that you look pale. It's better to call a doctor to take a look. Fan Exian looked up at the visitor and waved his hand, saying, Thank you very much for your concern. I just have a slight illness, let's wait until we finish attending the banquet. Since that's the case, then I won't disturb you. Seeing Fan Exian insisting on attending the banquet, the man shook his head and left. Turning his gaze away from him, Fan Exian looked around the garden. Compared to the guards around the other day, there were twice as many armed soldiers everywhere, and occasionally glancing at them was like looking at dead people. It seems that I don't have much time left. Fan Exian sighed to himself. Just as he was about to escape, the gate of the royal mansion opened with a loud bang, and Li Chong, dressed in a purple gold royal uniform, accompanied by several guards, went to the garden. Upon seeing this, everyone quickly bowed and saluted, I, my lord, see the king of Langya. Li Chong looked at the crowd with great enthusiasm and smiled, saying, you don't need to be polite. I am very happy that you can come to the banquet amidst your busy schedule. Therefore, I have specially arranged for someone to prepare a banquet for you at Guishi Palace. Everyone, let's go to the banquet together. Without much thought, everyone responded with a yes and walked towards Guishi Palace, with faint laughter echoing in the queue. Feeling the startled glance from the guard, Fan Exian bravely followed behind the team, feeling extremely nervous. Whether he can leave Liaoqing alive depends on his performance next. Quickly, the group arrived at the entrance of Guishi Palace and saw that it was heavily guarded with soldiers stationed. 
several officials were puzzled. Prince, how could there be so many soldiers? Yeah, there are still many buckets on the ground, aren't they for us to shower and change clothes? The words fell to the ground, and everyone burst into laughter. Li Chong said meaningfully, you may not know. Prince Fanyang and Princess Changle will also come to the banquet later. For safety reasons, it would be better to send more soldiers. As for these buckets. You will soon know their purpose. It's time for us to go in, said Li Chong, swinging his sleeve robe and stepping up the stairs. At this moment, a sudden exclamation of surprise came from the team. No good, someone has fainted. Oh my god, my face is colorless, isn't it a serious illness? Upon hearing the commotion, Li Chong turned around and glanced. When he saw Fan Xian lying on the ground, his eyebrows furrowed slightly and he said in a deep voice. Two people, take Fan Xian to the study and call for Dr. Wang to come and treat him. At this point, he said to the others, everyone, please wait a moment at Guishi Palace first. I will come later. The prince is busy with official business first, let's take a step first. The crowd bowed and entered the main hall in groups. As the heavy hall door slowly closed, hundreds of soldiers suddenly rushed out from both sides, surrounding the main hall in groups. Command the commanding officers to guard this place, Li Chong turned around and went to the study, watching Fan Xian unconscious on the bed, frowning and saying. What kind of illness is this guy suffering from? How could it be so serious? Upon hearing this, the old man with white hair sitting in front of the bed withdrew his fingers, lifted Fan Xian's eyelids, and glanced at him before shaking his head and sighing. Report to the prince, this person has a pale complexion and weak pulse. This is a sign of disease invading the organs and running out of oil. It is necessary to rest in bed as soon as possible, otherwise we may not be able to survive this winter. Dr. Wang, are you sure that Fan Xian is seriously ill? Li Quan was a bit skeptical. How could a person who was healthy suddenly become weak? The old man with white hair glanced at him and stroked his beard, snorting, I have been suffering from illness in the palace for over twenty years, and I have won the trust of the old prince. Are you suspecting that I am not skilled in medicine? Li Quan hesitated for a moment, his face turning rough and red. All right, Dr. Wang is an old man from the Wang family, so it's impossible to make a mistake. Since he said that Fan Xian's life is not long, he must be right. After stopping the two, Li Chong asked Dr. Wang to go back and rest first. He walked to the bed and looked at Fan Xian, his eyes tightly closed and his face pale. No matter how he looked, it didn't seem like he was pretending. Prince, what should we do? Fan Xian has not yet taken an oath of loyalty. If we just let him go back like this, there may be future troubles, Li Quan stood on the side, worried. Li Chong reached out to try Fan Xian's breath and said with a faint expression, if someone is so sick, they must not be able to attend the banquet. We can only get rid of those people from Guishi Palace first. However, you have some truth to say. Anyone who has not taken an oath of loyalty may betray our king at any time. Let's imprison him in the royal palace and wait until he wakes up before taking action. Yes, prince. Li Quan bowed and was about to order someone to take Fan Xian to the wing when a memorial suddenly came from outside the door. I would like to inform the prince that the Wushui County government has an urgent matter to attend to. Wushui County government, what are they doing here? Li Chong frowned and said to the outside, let him in. After a moment, a servant with a filial piety rope wrapped around his waist walked in and choked up on his knees, saying, little servant of Wushui County government, I have come to report my funeral to my Mingfu. Funeral. Li Chong was taken aback and said in surprise, who died. In his memory, he remembered that Fan Xian's family didn't seem to be in Wushui County. The person who came was Fan Xian's servant Lu Zi. When asked by the king of Langya, he followed the note and said, to be honest, the deceased is the young master of our Ming mansion. He choked to death while lying on the ground gnawing on a bone. 
Seeing Li Chang's confusion on his face, Li Quan beside him whispered, I remember County Magistrate Fan mentioning that he wanted to buy chickens for his dog. I think he was referring to his son. It turned out that way, I remembered that Fan Xian had indeed said he would buy smoked chicken for his dog. Li Chong suddenly realized and felt a headache. If Fan Xian's son really choked to death, he could only let him return to Wushue County for mourning, after all, the Tang dynasty ruled with benevolence and filial piety, and he had no reason to imprison him in the royal palace. But in this way, Fan Xian was out of his sight. Once he realized afterwards that he had not reported to the court, his plan to launch an uprising against Wu would be ruined. Should I let him go back to Wushue County or not? Li Chong was caught in a dilemma. Li Quan followed Li Chong for many years, but when he saw his own prince hesitating, he reminded him, Prince, if the son of the Wushue County Magistrate dies, it will inevitably shake the entire county. If people don't go back at this time, it will inevitably attract the attention of the court. What if? He didn't say further, but the meaning was self-evident. Li Chong realized that Wushue County was right under his nose, and there was no need to draw the attention of the court for such a small matter. Moreover, judging from Fan Xian's previous performance, although he did not swear allegiance, at least he leaned towards his side, and it was not a big deal to let him go. At this point, Li Chong coughed at Lu Zi and said, Well, for the sake of the county magistrate's loss of his beloved son, I won't keep him here to attend the banquet. You can pick him up and go back. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Escape from Life. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Escape from Life. Thank you for your permission, Prince. I will take you home from Ming Mansion now. Lu Zi knelt on the ground and cowed out twice before getting up and choking up at Fan Xian. Wake up from Ming Mansion, I have taken you home. Ming Mansion. Seeing Fan Xian unconscious, the sixth son picked him up and walked towards the gate of the royal mansion. Guards along the way withdrew their intersecting weapons and allowed the master and servant to pass through. In the end, they arrived at the gate of the royal mansion without any danger. Carefully placing Fan Xian into the car canopy, covering him with bedding, Lu Zi approached Li Chong and clasped his fists. Prince, Ming Mansion is seriously ill and urgently needs treatment. If you don't give orders, I will go back now. Li Chong waved his sleeve at the butler, who handed a gift box to Lu Zi. This box contains a hundred-year-old ginseng. After returning, I will make some ginseng soup for your Mingfu. After a few days, I will personally visit you in Wushue County after finishing my official duties. Seeing that the King of Langya was so generous, the sixth son hesitated and said, Your Highness, ginseng has been so precious for a hundred years. I'm afraid I can't afford it. Ah! Fan Xian is the brother of this king, and he will be pointing at him to govern Buizhou in the future. A single ginseng is nothing. It's getting late, hurry up and get on the road. Li Chong waved his hand and said. Seeing that he couldn't get rid of it, Lu Zi had to grit his head and accept the gift box. He bowed to Li Chong and turned back to the carriage, gesturing for the coachman to drive away. Looking at the distant figure of the car canopy, the smile on Li Chong's face gradually disappeared. I don't know if it's right or wrong to let Fan Xian leave this time. The prince is too worried. Fan Xian is just a seventh grade county magistrate, he cannot possibly know our plan. I hope so, Li Chong sighed, feeling a faint sense of unease in his heart for some reason. Prince, I have something that I don't understand. Fan Xian is just a seventh grade official. As for sending out a hundred year old ginseng, do you? You know, Fan Yang has been thinking about it for half a year, said Li Quan. Li Chong withdrew his gaze and glanced at him meaningfully, saying, Do you really think my things are easy to get? Fan Xian has received so much from us. Once it gets out, do you think the court will let him go? When the time comes, he will be covered in words and unable to explain this matter clearly. 
In the end, he can only follow us to rise up and fight against Wu Zetian, that despicable woman. Immediately instruct to spread the news of Fan Exian's collection of centennial ginseng, the further it spreads, the better, and it would be best for the court to know. Li Quan's eyes lit up as he accompanied his smiling face and said, The prince is indeed very clever. This not only solves the possibility of Fan Exian reporting, but also allows him to be used by us. It is actually a clever plan. All right, let's talk about this later. Let's clean up Wu Zetian's henchmen first. If they don't die, I'll have trouble sleeping and eating. In the end, Li Chang's eyes flickered with endless killing intent. When Emperor Gaozong was alive before, Empress Wu Zetian's intervention in the court was just enough. Now he dares to openly imprison Emperor Li Dan in the palace under the name of the Luaha Divine Stone, and suppress the Li Tang royal family recklessly. Li Chong believed that if this continued, in less than ten years, Wu Zetian would replace the descendants of the Li surname and become the emperor himself. So this time he launched an uprising against Wu, he must eliminate Wu Zetian, that slut, no matter what. Before attacking Wu Yang, he first wanted to get rid of Wu Zetian's eyeliner planted in Buizhou. Before long, Li Chong arrived at the front of the Guishi Palace, where there were thousands more soldiers than before leaving. How about it, are you all ready? Prince Hui Bing, the last general has ordered people to surround the official subordinates in various places, and has piled up hay and firewood around the main hall of Guishi Palace. As soon as the hall touches, the governor's office will immediately take action to ensure that no guard can escape. The commanding general said respectfully. Li Chong glanced at the soldier who was ready to go, nodded, and said, Okay, this is the time for the Qianqiu hegemony. Listen to my orders. Yes. Amidst the cheers of the soldiers from the three armies, Li Chong pushed open the hall door and strode in. At this moment, the main hall was full of seats, chatting enthusiastically, and roughly sweeping away the vast expanse of Wu. Seeing Li Chong walking and wearing royal attire, the officials stopped talking and stood up in unison, saying, I see you, Lord. Li Chong came to the steps and gestured for everyone to sit down, saying with a smile, I'm sorry everyone, there was something that delayed me for a while just now. No problem, since the prince is here, can we start the banquet now? We heard that the prince has collected a lot of good wine, said the official with a smile. However, to everyone's surprise, Li Chong shook his head and said, the good wine will be served later. Before that, I have a few words to say. Ladies and gentlemen, since Emperor Gaozu overthrew the tyranny of Yang Guang and established the Tang dynasty, all previous emperors have been held by our descendants of the Li family. However, heaven did not fulfill people's wishes. In the generation of Emperor Gaozong, due to his illness, great power fell into the hands of Empress Wu Zetian. It's just meddling in government affairs. Now, with the help of the Luo River God Stone crafted by Wu Qingxi, he openly imprisoned the Tang Emperor in the palace and monopolized power on his own. How can Tang officials, such as you, bear to shout? As these words were spoken, the entire hall fell into a deathly silence, with all the smiles on the faces of the officials completely gone, and even more so, with a hint of iron blue on their faces. Finally, someone couldn't help but stand up. That's enough. Your words are simply absurd. Empress Dowager Wu is the wife of Emperor Gaozong and the true daughter. In law of the Li family. How can she be considered an outsider? If it weren't for her exhausting efforts to help handle national affairs, how could Emperor Gaozong and the current emperor rest and recuperate with peace of mind? At this moment, another official also stood up. Not bad. What is the relationship between the Luaha Heavenly Divine Stone and Wu Qingxi? It is clearly a divine will bestowed by Haotian after seeing Empress Dowager Wu's hard work. Humph, did the prince forget what happened when Su Jingye and Luo Bin Wang rebelled in Yangzhou? This banquet has changed its taste, don't participate. Faced with the continuous opposition of the martial arts party to him, Li Chang's smile remained on his face, while his hands holding the wine glass tightly clenched together. 
He didn't expect Wu Zetian's power to expand so quickly that he was no match for his authentically family. So, do you all disagree with my king's thoughts? Li Chengxu squinted his eyes and said. Of course, we dare not agree with such heinous and immoral words. I hope the prince can put aside this thought. Li Chong smiled and said, All right, since everyone's intentions have been decided, I won't say anything anymore. I'll take care of myself in the future. As he spoke, he picked up his glass and drank it all in one gulp. Finally, he put the glass back on the tray and walked out of the hall alone. Upon seeing Li Chong come out, the general of the army approached him and asked, Your Highness, how did the conversation go? Are those people willing to submit? Li Chong shook his head and raised his hands to look up at the sky, saying, These traitors are no longer willing to turn back. Let's send them on their way. I will comply. General Tongbing gave a fierce smile and turned around, pulling out his sword and pointing it at the main hall. He said sternly, Brothers, kill me inside and don't let anyone go. At the next moment, two thousand soldiers rushed into the main hall with a murderous spirit. As their weapons swung, their bodies fell into a pool of blood. Soon, the screams inside the main hall disappeared. The palace gate was pushed open, and the commanding general, covered in blood, walked out and clenched his fists, saying, Prince, a total of 232 officials above the county level have been executed. However. But what? Li Chong frowned and said. But there's one less Qingping county magistrate. Someone saw him coming to the banquet, but somehow they're gone, said the general of the army, bowing his head. Li Chong gave his subordinate a fierce glare and said, You're useless. You can't even look at someone. Hurry up and send someone to chase after you. End of this chapter. Time is running out for chapter 8. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Time is running out for chapter 8. Yes. The commander. In. Chief clenched his fists and left the palace with hundreds of soldiers, riding his horses and chasing after him on the official road. The Langya Prince's mansion is heavily guarded, and if this Qingping County magistrate could escape under their noses, he must have hidden in the carriage of Wushui County. After the sergeant left, Li Chong said to the butler, Burn down these traitors along with the main hall, and publicly say that the main hall has been in disrepair for a long time and has gone bankrupt. The soldiers on both sides of Li Quanchao waved, and several soldiers holding torches stepped forward to ignite the hay. The fire quickly spread throughout the entire hall, emitting thick smoke, and the bodies lying in the pool of blood were gradually engulfed by fierce flames. Looking at the raging fire in front of him, Li Quan was very excited. Lord, we have removed the eyeliner that Empress Dowager Wu planted in Buzhou. Why not cross the Yellow River at one go and enter Luoyang? Li Chong shook his sleeve in frustration and said, Do you think Luoyang is so easy to fight? Currently, we only have 5,000 new soldiers. Can we control the entire Buzhou area as an unknown number? What should we use to confront the military forces guarding the eastern capital? First, be patient and wait for the opportunity. It's not too late for me to cross the river and attack Luoyang when I have recruited enough troops. Before that, we need to find every way to deal with Fan Exion. Only by controlling Wushui County can our army, Li Tang, have no choice but to cross the river and fight without hesitation. Li Chong said solemnly. The reason why he spent a lot of money to win over Fan Exian was not because he attached great importance to him, but because he had a particular interest in Wushui County. This place is located 50 miles southwest of Liaocheng, facing Puzhou across the Jindi River. The latter has been a battleground for soldiers since ancient times. In order to cross the river and capture this place, Li Tang's army must have a stable support point, which is also the fundamental reason why he valued Wushui County. Li Quan also knew that the current was not the best time to rebel, so he accompanied his smiling face and said, Prince, please keep your heart in your stomach. I know you value Wushui County and have already planted an ear and eye several years in advance. As long as Fan Exion behaves abnormally, 
We will know the news on the same day and guarantee that there will be no mistakes. I am truly the king's person, well done. Li Chong patted the butler's shoulder and lifted his head to look towards the direction of the official road, feeling proud. Fan Exian, do you think you can break free from the control of this king by leaving the royal mansion? Buizhou, official road. Dada. The crisp sound of horse hooves echoed through the mountains and forests. Liozi lifted the curtain and glanced back, realizing that there were no pursuers. He sat back in the carriage and breathed a long sigh of relief. It seemed that the Langya king did not suspect them. Thinking of this, he shook Fan Exian's body for a moment. Young master, you don't need to pretend anymore. We have escaped from Liaocheng and will soon return to Wushui County. As soon as these words were spoken, Fan Exian, who was originally unconscious, suddenly opened his eyes, got up from the mat, and casually took out a pebble from his armpit and threw it away. Ha! Huh. Finally escaped, I'm afraid I'll suffocate later. Fan Exian exclaimed to himself, recalling the conversation between Li Chong and his servant. If it weren't for Lu Zi's timely appearance, even if he had survived the banquet by chance, he would have been imprisoned in the royal palace, forced to follow Li Chong to rise up in battle, and then be defeated and killed. Looking at his own young master's face full of palpitations, Lu Zi scratched his head and said, By the way, young master, the king of Langya has given you a hundred-year-old ginseng. Do you want someone to send it back? Fan Exian glanced at the gift box and said, Forget it, Li Chong was already worried about us. If he sends the gift box back, he will have trouble sleeping and eating. Keep it for now, and deal with it when you have time. The top priority is to return to Wushui County and prepare for the enemy's defense. Fan Exian knew that Li Chong was giving gifts just to arouse suspicion from the court and force him to stand on his side. However, compared to this, he was more concerned about the upcoming uprising against the military. If he remembers correctly, Li Chong initially set a time in April of the following year. However, due to Li Ai, the king of Fanyang, reporting to the court, he was forced to hastily raise an army on August 17 and lead 5,000 new soldiers to attack Wushui County. Attempting to cross the Jindi River and occupy Puyang, he then joined forces with various princes of Li Tang to advance towards Luoyang. In the end, he was defeated and killed. And today is already the first day of August, with only 16 days left until Li Chang's uprising. That is to say, there is not much time left for him to consolidate the city defense and prepare for conscription. Lu Zi clearly knew that the king of Langya was going to attack Wushui County, and he was a bit worried, saying, Young master, there are thousands of soldiers and horses under the command of the king of Langya. Can we hold on with the few officials in our county government? From my perspective, let's escape as soon as possible, otherwise we'll be stuck in the city. Fan Exian knew what he was trying to say and said calmly, You've thought too easily about this matter. As the magistrate of Wushui County, I still have a chance to defend the city. If I abandon the city and land, I will definitely die. Although that's the case, what should we guard the city with? If we want people without people, if we want weapons without weapons. Liozi didn't understand where his young master came from with confidence. Fan Exian smiled slightly and said, who said there are only official positions in Wushui County. Have you forgotten those farmers who farm? Young master, do you mean? Fan Exian nodded and said, not bad. In the Tang Dynasty, we implemented the system of government soldiers, serving as soldiers during wartime and farmers during leisure time. As long as we call them up, our Wushui County will have thousands of garrison soldiers in an instant. With these people, we can persist until the court sends reinforcements. That's right, the reason why Fan Exian chose to stay and defend the city is because there are over 3,000 veterans who have been to the battlefield in Wushui County. These people all have weapons, and as long as they are organized, there is a full chance to resist the rebel attack. However, the military system during this period had collapsed due to frequent battles, and the court could not provide land rewards. 
the veterans would rather farm than go to the battlefield. It was not an easy task for them to defend the city and sacrifice their lives. More importantly, Van Exien is just a local county magistrate and has no authority to mobilize government troops. To convene government troops, approval must be obtained from the Ministry of War. Considering this, Van Exien is prepared to recruit these veteran soldiers under his command in the name of defending the city, and disband them after the rebels are defeated. In this way, the government's military system became a temporary recruitment, which did not require permission from the Ministry of War and the Governor's Office, nor was it charged with privately raising troops. I heard that my young master was preparing to recruit soldiers to participate in defending the city, so the sixth son's last worry was gone. Great, as long as you can defend Wushue County, the court will definitely promote you to higher positions and ranks in the future. Fan Xian smiled and was about to speak when suddenly an exclamation came from outside the carriage. He truly deserves to be the magistrate of Fan County. This move, which involves openly building a plank road and secretly crossing the Chen Song, is indeed ingenious. Even the king of Langyu was deceived. Suddenly hearing these words, Fan Xian's face changed dramatically. He grabbed his short sword and gave a glance to Lu Zi, who drew out his sword and rushed out of the window. When Fan Exian lifted the curtain and saw the coachman being restrained, he hesitated for a moment before frowning and saying, It's you. This person is an official surnamed Lai who had a chance encounter in the Langya Prince's mansion. Seeing his pale face, he gave him a handkerchief, but he didn't expect this guy to escape as well. Seeing that Fan Exian recognized him, the young coachman smiled and said, I, the county magistrate of Xiaqingping, have come to Junchen. I have a special matter to request from the county magistrate of Fan. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 The Gratitude of Lai Junchen. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 The Gratitude of Lai Junchen. Lai Junchen, does this name sound a bit familiar? Fan Xian pondered for a moment before finally realizing it. He remembered that this young man was the most famous corrupt official in history, Lai Junchen, who personally invited his master to the urn. Just different from the historical records, Lai Junchen appeared more humble and refined at this time. This discovery extinguished Fan Xian's desire to kill people and silence him. Li Chong would sooner or later transmit gifts to the court. In order to dispel suspicion, he needed someone to explain the truth to Wu Zetian on his behalf. And this person is only suitable for Lai Junchen, who is deeply trusted by Empress Wu Zetian. With these thoughts in mind, Fan Exian took a light breath and gestured for the sixth son to withdraw his weapons. His expression was faint and he said, So it's brother Lai. I wonder if you have anything to ask for. Upon discovering that the blade had left his neck, Lai Junchen quietly breathed a sigh of relief and then said with a stern expression. Brother Fan, to be honest, I escaped. The pursuit of the royal family will arrive immediately. I hope you can lend a helping hand and save my next life. As the words fell, the rustling of war horses and the urging of soldiers suddenly came from the forest. Listening to the sound, it seemed that with just a few breaths, one could pass through the corner and see them. At a critical moment, Lai Junchen's face turned pale with fear. County Magistrate Fan, you. Looking at the anxious Lai Junchen, Fan Xian sighed and said, Well, I'll take a risk to help you once. Drive. Drive. In the mountains and forests, a group of soldiers galloping on horseback crossed the corner and their eyes lit up when they saw a carriage ahead. General Xiong, we have caught up with the carriage in Wushue County. The fugitive is on the carriage, chase me. The leading general shouted loudly, and his whip fiercely hit the horse's buttocks. The warhorse roared in pain and rushed towards the carriage, splashing large amounts of sand and dust along the way. The sergeant quickly arrived at the front of the carriage. Sigh. The general suddenly tightened the reins and rode his horse twice in place, his eyes fixed on the stopped carriage. Is the person sitting in the car the magistrate of Fan County? 
Liozi jumped off the carriage and approached respectfully, saying, General, you're right. The carriage is indeed my Mingfu. Are you? An assassin has escaped from the royal mansion, and I have been ordered to pursue him here. We need to conduct a search and hope that your county can make it convenient. Isn't that good? My Mingfu is unconscious. What if I get seriously disturbed? Liozi hesitated. The general's face darkened and he said, We are also thinking for the sake of Fan County Magistrate. If the assassin hides in the carriage, the consequences will be unimaginable. With a wave of their hands, several soldiers jumped off their warhorses and surrounded the carriage to prevent anyone from escaping. He himself went to the carriage, pulled out his knife, opened the curtain, and looked inside. He found that Fan Exayan was the only one lying there in the carriage, with a hint of doubt flashing between his eyebrows. Strange, the bandit could only escape from the royal mansion through a carriage. How could he have disappeared? Did he leave halfway? Putting down the curtain, the general turned to look at Lu Zi and said, General, have you encountered any suspicious people along the way? No, except for a few hunters who entered the mountain, I haven't seen anyone, Liu Zi thought for a moment and said. The hunter who entered the mountain. The general pondered for a moment and raised his head to his subordinates, saying, The assassin must be among the hunters, follow me. Yes. The soldiers shouted and turned over to follow the generals into the forest, disappearing in no time. Seeing the pursuers leave, Liozi smiled at the bottom of the carriage and said, County Magistrate, the pursuers have already left. You can come out now. Thank you, little brother. I'll come out right now. Lai Junshen was about to loosen the axle and crawl out from under the carriage when Fan Exian's voice rang out. Don't come out, Liozi. Keep driving the carriage. Ah, brother Fan, why is this? Lai Junshen forced himself to endure the pain in his hands and asked. When the pursuers infiltrated the forest, there was no sound. It was obvious that they had stopped to monitor us. If you go out at this moment, Bao Zheng will be caught by them. As if to confirm Fan Exian's words, the quiet forest suddenly heard the sound of hooves, and the soldiers who had been chasing the hunter returned. This time, the general even waved the formalities and lifted the curtain to look at the carriage. When he found that there were indeed no signs of rebels, his eyes looked puzzled. Strange, isn't it true that people are hiding up the mountain without being in the car? General, I've already told you that I haven't seen anyone suspicious before. What are you doing here? Lu Zi said discontentedly. After regaining his senses, the general lowered the curtain and said, It's nothing. Just now, I suddenly remembered that before, the prince had instructed me to check on the condition of the county magistrate. You can leave now. His task is to arrest the fleeing Chimping County Magistrate. Now that he is not on the carriage, he can only let Master Fan Exian leave. Since that's the case, then I'll take my leave. Six sons sat on the carriage and drove slowly away under the gaze of the sergeant. It was not until he walked out of the forest and arrived at the post station in Wushue County that Fan Exian allowed Lai Junchen to crawl out of the car. Due to holding on to the axle for a long time, both of his arms were drooping. Thanks to Brother Fan this time, otherwise I would have been taken away by them, Lai Junchen said with lingering fear as he patted the dust off his body. Fan Exian smiled and said, It's a piece of cake. Brother, don't take it seriously. The governor's office will definitely arrest you on a large scale next. What are you going to do? Don't worry, Brother Fan. He once paid respects to a gentleman named Zhou Xing in the early years. I am planning to go to Luoyang to join him. Since that's the case, then Fan won't keep you. Fan Exian took a fake fish talisman from Lu Zi's hand and handed it to Lai Junchen. This fake fish talisman was originally prepared for my own escape, but now it doesn't seem to be useful anymore. I'll give it to you as a gift. I can help you with the level review on the way. How could you dare to ask for Brother Fan's things? It's really, really. Lai Junchen's eyes were red and he couldn't continue. 
Fan Exian looked at Lai Junchen with a grateful expression on his face, and it was difficult to treat him and the notorious cruel official as one person. After some thought, he took out two pieces of silk from his arms. The incident happened in a hurry, and I don't think you have much money left on you. I'll give you these two pieces of silk as collateral. When you arrive in Luoyang, you must take care of them up and down. Carrying the fish talisman and silk into his arms, Lai Junchen took a deep breath and solemnly said to Fan Exian, Brother Fan's heart is full of gratitude. If you disappear from the crowd one day, forget it. If you have power one day, I will definitely repay your kindness. Farewell. Take care. Looking at the distant figure of Lai Junchen, Lu Zi hesitated and said, Young master, why are you treating him so well as a wanted criminal who has lost his power? Fan Xian withdrew his gaze and glanced at him indifferently, saying, Ten years in Hadong and ten years in Hashi, how do you know that Lai Junchen can't turn over? Let's go, the time left by the king of Langya is running out for us. We need to strengthen the city defense, recruit soldiers and prepare for battle, and strive to survive before the upcoming siege. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Feigning Illness You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Feigning Illness I understand. Liozi got on the carriage and patted his horses but, carrying Fan Xian towards Wushue County. Upon hearing that the magistrate of Fan County had returned, County Magistrate Zhang quickly brought the county government officials to the entrance to greet him. When they saw Fan Xian being lifted off the carriage, they were all shocked. Mingfu, what's wrong with you? Fan Xian said weakly, you don't need to panic. I just occasionally feel a cold wind, and I'll recover after a few days of rest, cough. After finishing speaking, he wiped his mouth with a handkerchief and casually threw it to the ground. The blood stains of Yin Hong under the sunset were particularly glaring. Upon seeing this scene, Zhang County Magistrate and others had a flash of brilliance in their eyes and immediately retreated, feeling relieved and saying, If it's okay, it's okay. If it's okay, it's okay. You're the backbone of our Wushue County. If something happens, what will the lowly officials do? During his speech, Fan Exian was carried to the back office room and said to Zhang Song when he lay down, County Magistrate Zhang, I will entrust you with the rest of my time. If you have any questions, you can discuss them with Master Sun without consulting with me. Faced with the sudden good news, Zhang Song was stunned for a moment. It seemed that he didn't expect happiness to come so quickly. Sun Zhu Xu pushed him and said, County Magistrate Zhang, Ming Mansion is talking to you. Ah! Upon returning to his senses, Zhang Song immediately bowed to Fan Exian and said, Ming Mansion, please rest assured and recuperate. I will definitely guard this Yaman for you. Well, I can rest assured when you handle matters, said Fan Exian, patting his forehead. By the way, when I came back, I heard that an assassin had run out of the Wang Mansion. In order to maintain public order in this county, you immediately dispatched more city guards to strictly investigate those who came from Liaocheng. If there are any suspicious individuals, arrest them. Zhang Song saw that Fan Exian was speaking seriously and did not suspect him. He arched his hand and assured, Don't worry, Ming Mansion. I will go back and dispatch personnel now, and I will not let any suspicious person go. Fan Exian closed his eyes and waved his hand wearily, Go ahead, don't disturb my rest if there's nothing else. I'm sorry, I'm leaving. Zhang Song bowed and left the room with several county government officials. After turning the rockery, Sun Zhu Xu suddenly whispered in a low voice. Lao Zhang, do you think the mansion's return so early is a loss of favor? The banquet started at night, so theoretically Fan Xian should be drinking at the moment, but now he has returned, which seems a bit off. Zhang County Magistrate turned his back and said indifferently, Didn't you see that Ming Mansion has vomited blood? Why is it strange to come back early to recuperate? Besides, what's wrong with someone surnamed Fan falling out of favor? Who else in Wushue County can surpass you and me in the future? 
Upon hearing these words, Sun Zhu Xu was taken aback for a moment, and then followed suit with admiration, saying, What you said makes sense. Fan Xian fell ill, and from now on, Wushui County will be yours and mine. Let's go celebrate with a drink. Turning his gaze away from the others, Liu Zi quietly left the rockery and returned to the room of the rear office, indignant. Young master, you're right. As soon as Zhang Song and Master Sun left the room, they went to celebrate with the leader of the sixth room. The back office didn't even leave a guard for you, these villains' faces have changed too quickly. Fan Xian smiled indifferently at Lu Zi's anger. All right, it's common for people to follow the trend of following the crowd. Since the leader of the six houses wants to climb the big tree of Zhang Song, let them do it. Our most important task at the moment is to organize those prefectural soldiers, only they can help us survive. As for withdrawing the guards, it's actually an opportunity for us. Please listen closely. I have something to instruct you to do. Fan Xian said a few words in the ear of the sixth son, and the latter exclaimed in surprise, Young master, are you going to sell the thing that the Langya king gave you? Not bad, if we want those veterans to willingly defend the city, it's useless to just talk big. We need to show them real gold and silver. The most valuable things in my hands now are this century-old ginseng and two precious pearls. Tomorrow, under the guise of my need for medical treatment, you can take them to the merchant's place to sell, and then take advantage of the night to bury 100,000 pieces of silk cloth on the West Mountain for later use. During this period, the Tang Dynasty's large scale settlement was mainly based on silk cloth. The value of each piece of silk cloth in Buzhou was around 501, and 100,000 pieces of silk cloth were equivalent to 50,000 guan of copper coins, which was enough to pay for 3,000 veterans. Knowing that the matter was significant, Lu Zi searched for several reliable subordinates overnight and, taking advantage of the dawn, found the most powerful local merchant. When the other party saw a century-old ginseng tree in the gift box, their breath became urgent and they quickly checked it. Finally, they bought the item for 80,000 pieces of silk cloth, and then spent 20,000 pieces of silk cloth to buy the treasure into the bag. To prevent anyone from following, Lu Zi pulled the silk cloth and walked around the city twice. After confirming that no one was following, he buried the silk cloth on the western mountain. Young master, I have hidden the silk cloth according to your instructions. No one knows the specific location, said Lu Zi as he walked into the room and took off his mask. Okay, now the military pay is ready, only the veterans are in place. Fan Xian put down his roster, changed into a small green hat, and wiped something on his face. Seeing his attire, Liu Zi scratched his head and said, Young master, what are you doing? I'm going to meet those veterans. You stay guard at the door, and no matter who comes to visit, I'll say I'm recuperating and I won't see you. Fan Xian pushed open the crack in the door and glanced outside. After realizing that there was no one in the yard, he walked towards the back door with a bucket of swill water. There are many people in the Yaman with mixed eyes, and there are some eyeliner to ensure the balance. It is better to recruit government soldiers secretly. After a thrilling journey to the street, Van Xian hid his swill bucket and walked towards the southern city. According to the registered residents, the leader of these soldiers was a man named Lin Tai, who had served as Wogui, the commander of Zhichong Mansion, and his position was second only to that of Zhichong. In the later stage, due to dissatisfaction with the court's refusal to fulfill its promise, he left Zhichong Prefecture and lived with his brothers in Shaolu village in the south of the city, making a living by forging iron and farming. When Fan Xian arrived at Shaolu village, it was already noon. At this time, many ragged women and children were squatting on both sides of the mud road, throwing fern leaves into the pot. When he saw outsiders coming in, his eyes were full of vigilance. Excuse me, brother. Where does the Lin Tai family live? Fan Xinchong asked a burly man. The man glanced at Fan Xian and said, What's up with you looking for him? To be honest with you, I am his distant relative. 
I have come to inform you of something on behalf of my mother. The man looked up and down at Fan Exian, stood up and walked towards the depths of the village, saying, Lin Tai's family lives in the front, come with me. The two of them arrived at a thatched cottage, and the man pushed open the door and said, Lin Tai is inside. You can go in and see him. Fan Exian nodded and was about to enter when the man suddenly turned around and stabbed at him. The blade emitted a cold gleam under the sunlight. Fortunately, Fan Exian was on guard and when the blade pierced, he dodged to the right, barely escaping this fatal blow. The assassination failed, and the man let out a cold snort. With a flip of his wrist, he pressed the blade against Fan Exian's neck and said coldly. Tell me, who the hell are you? It's important to follow up on the New Era book period, please everyone, end of this chapter.